Mi nombre es Matteo Politi, vengo de Italia y tengo una formación en química farmacéutica con especialización en plantas medicinales. También soy naturópata y acá en Takiwasi estoy trabajando como director científico y me ocupo sobre todo de la investigación. El departamento de investigación tiene dos áreas de interés mayormente. Una es la parte clínica de tratamiento de datos, sobre la eficacia del tratamiento en drogadicción y en salud mental. Y, y el otro departamento es, es en, de productos naturales. El departamento de investigación tiene un convenio con la universidad local. También recibe continuamente estudiantes e investigadores de todo el mundo para desarrollar varios temas de investigación en un intento por viabilizar el diálogo eh, y la comprensión de lo que puede aportar la medicina tradicional amazónica a la psiquiatría y a la ciencia biomédica en salud mental, es que el Centro Takiwasi ha promovido desde sus inicios eh, la investigación científica como una herramienta para viabilizar ese diálogo. Desde hace unos 10 años que venimos trabajando en el desarrollo de una, un sistema fundamentado en una base de datos que nos permite recoger toda la información clínica que se genera a lo largo de un tratamiento, almacenarla en forma adecuada y poderla gestionar con fines clínicos y con fines de investigación. Mi nombre es Anla Mirian, soy originally de Curaçao, que es una pequeña isla en el Caribbean a part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. After high school, I went abroad to the Netherlands to study, and I currently study medicine at Maastricht University. Um, as a research project, I really wanted to do something outside my daily environment, and I came to Takiwasi to, um, to analyze the data that has been collected here over the past five years. And I'm trying to find uh, or see if there are any indicators or potential risk factors for treatment outcomes. Uh, the reason why I was excited or why I chose Takiwasi is because I think uh, the treatment here is completely unique in its combination of applying both traditional and Western medicine. Uh, it's one of the only centers in the world which does this and I think it's very, uh, I think it's an incredible experience to see how it's being applied and how, how it can be effect effective as a, as a way of treating patients. And I think a medicine as a whole could learn a lot from this combination style of treatment so I think it's very interesting to do. Hi, I'm Victoria de Felipe. I'm from Paraguay. I uh, have been studying medicine in the Netherlands at, at Maastricht University. And it's a really nice program because it focuses on translating findings from research into clinical practice, which for me is very important as a future uh, doctor. I came to Takiwasi to do a research project on the psychiatric comorbidities that influence the treatment outcome. But particularly, I find it interesting to do it in Takiwasi because it's a really innovative treatment that takes uh, Western, uh, the Western treatment in addition to the traditional Amazonian medicine, which is focusing way more on a holistic point of view of the patient themselves. So it's not only you have a problem, let's take the problem away, but it's really looking at like where is it coming from, how are you managing this, um, how can we help you process this better in order to have a better treatment outcome. So it's really um, cutting edge. And I also think that, you know, for in order for traditional medicine to get a place in, in combination with Western medicine, you actually need to be able to show this scientifically to the rest of the world. My idea of coming here was also to participate in this process of making Amazonian medicine a part of the scientific world and then strengthening the arguments and uh, hopefully in the future, yeah, being able to make this available to other people that also could benefit from uh, this amazing combination of treatment. Je m'appelle Nicolas Molozov, je suis euh, étudiant en psychologie clinique interculturelle en master à l'Université de Toulouse de Jean Jaurès. Et euh, je suis venu ici pour faire euh, une investigation, entre autres choses, une recherche euh, scientifique sur euh, les séminaires. Mon nom est Maya, je suis de Londres et je suis 
doing a master's in music therapy in Bristol. I also studied at, uh, at a school called SOAS in London, um, ethnomusicology. My project is focusing specifically on the songs that are used um, in Amazonian traditions for healing, the Icaros. Um, and I'm looking at how these songs are used in a ceremonial context and also focusing in on the experience that people have when they hear these songs, um, the experiences they have internally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, um, and how these experiences relate to the personal journey of healing. Un proyecto que estamos desarrollando en alianza con el Centro de Adicciones y Salud Mental Canadá, donde eh, lo que buscamos es demostrar bajo los estándares más rigurosos posibles, adecuados a nuestra realidad, la eficacia del tratamiento que se brinda acá en el Centro Takiwasi. I am Anna, I'm, I'm from Germany, and or I grew up in Germany, and actually now I'm living in Maastricht. Um, I came to Takiwasi because I really think that it's a good way to um, combine like traditional medicine with Western medicine. It's also good that they um, um, have an international group of people that work together, and not, not only doctors, but also researchers and like the patient, they really work together with the therapist, so it's a really like... Yeah, international environment, but also not only not, not only international, but also like from different groups. And I think it's just good to combine these views um, to treat the patient individually. And then, I mean, the traditional medicine can also help to uh, find a more individualized tr treatment. So for me, as a um, um, student of medicine, it is really important to combine all these things. So I, I was just wondering how they, how it works here in Takiwasi. Um, and now that I came here, um, I also f um, felt the atmosphere of Takiwasi because I think that everyone is really part of a group and that everyone works together. And um, also, like, it's not only the patients that, um, con yeah, that contribute to the um, whole group, but also, like, um, for example, the workers that also take part in rituals and also do, um, for example, the dietas. And I really think it's good that they become experts in their fields, but they also, like, create a feeling of solidarity in this, in this way.